Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Horizons with Kanika Diaz. So I have a bit of a problem here, and I'm giving you a, a bit of thought. Um, as we discovered in our last episode, there are no villages within about 2,000 blocks of, of, of our spawn. And uh, that's a problem for a number of reasons, but the most pre pressing is this. I want to make this thing. This is an Arthana from Witchery Mod, and it requires an emerald. What does it do? It basically uh, increases or vastly increases the drop rate of certain rare drops from, from, from uh, mobs, most notably the Wool of Bat and Tongue of Dog. Now, I have one Wool of Bat, fortunately, but I'm going to need at least a couple more of that in order to make some, some things in the future. I have no Tongue of Dog. I've only encountered one wolf pack so far up, up, up in one of the, uh, the frozen uh, ice biomes. So... Um, I, I may end up breeding, breeding them, to be honest, just to be able to get a steady supply of Tongo Dog. But you can, as far as I know, you cannot breed bats. Uh, might be an interesting expansion in the future, but at the moment you cannot do that. So, what are my options? Um, I, I've been thinking about it for a while, and um, I, I, well, first thing I tried was I made a mine, which is... This one here, East Hills Mine, I was in there for a couple of hours, could not find a single emerald, which sucks. Um, so I, I looked around for a while, and I realized that, I realized, I, I've discovered you you can, in fact, uh, customize Miscraft Ages in some ways. And one of the ways you can customize it is by adding villagers to it, or rather villages uh, as a feature to Miscraft Ages. So I think we're going to do something that I've been promising myself to do for quite some time. I think I even promised in our first episode I'm going to get into Miscraft. So I've got a server right here. They were on our second floor of our central tower. Right here is a writing desk. And these are all very easy to make, all these, all these materials here. Let me show you. The main reason I haven't done it uh, already is because I've never done it before. I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, not sure what to do in most cases, but I'm, I think I have an idea, a handle on it. So, first thing, made a writing desk, just wood, glass bottle, feather. Next thing I made over here is an ink mixer, that's just glass bottle, stone, and uh, wood planks. Then, then I made, uh, where is it? I made a book binder. Actually, not quite sure what this thing does, but it's just a piece of iron, it's right here. So this is this is essentially what you need. In addition to, as we just, um, I'm working on off camera a little bit, a working farm over that way, with uh, among other things, cows for for leather and chicken uh, for feathers. So now we have those. What you go do is you go into an ink mixer, make some pages, we have, we have paper. We have plenty of paper thanks to our sugarcane farm. Put it in this slot here. Then you take some squid ink, and I've got about a stack of squid. I've been killing them every chance I get. Put that into uh, into a, a glass bottle, and you get an ink file. Put these here. Combine these two, and you get a link panel. That and this is a link panel. And what you do with a link panel, as far as I understand, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. So I'm going based off of the tutorial I read. Take a link panel and a piece of leather, and you get an unlinked link book. Okay, so now what you do is you stand in a certain place and right click. Oh, I guess you have to do it off. So right click. This is now a linking book. So this book will always uh, teleport you back to this point, the second floor of, of our of our um, central tower. And, and every single time you go into a uh, an age, you need to make another, another one of these linking books. <clears throat> I should make a couple of them actually, but I'm gonna do one at a time just to be safe. But this is sort of my lifeline. I ever forget this, the only way to get back is apparently find some kind of natural fissure and drop through it in hopes of, get, of getting back to the overworld. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is make a target age. Okay, so. Uh, some of the websites I, I read said do not do this at all. It's in fact very, very dangerous, and they're probably right about that. But at this point, I think I have one page uh, in our inventory and, and uh, no, nothing else. So I, I cannot take their advice and um, make a customized age. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another link panel. See, I, I already managed to generate the glass bottle there. Put the put a piece of leather and the link panel I'm oh, sorry. Hmm, that's not working. Okay, there it is. Okay, so leather and link panel in here to create a descriptive book. And I don't mind, I just, just made it. So this is a completely random age. So I take this. And I get a ticket. Uh, one-way ticket, which is basically what this is. All right. 
So, um, let's start over here. So I'm going to put this descriptive book. It says H2. I'm not sure why it says H2. It's the first one I ever made, but okay. So, um, I wonder if there's... Hang on a sec. Because I'm actually curious about it. How, is there a way to rename these? Let's see. Yes, okay. So, I put the, I, I put it in my writing stand in here, and I can change the name. So let's call this, um, let's, let's call it random one. I may change the name depending on what, what, I, what I discover about it. So, let's take this. I know the name of, name of this thing does not change. It just changes the metadata value uh, as opposed to the actual name of it. So I'm going to put it right here. And so make sure absolutely it's not every time. Make sure you have this. Other thing, uh, I almost forgot before you go. I also made this a, a notebook. This just made with three pieces of leather. What this does is, as far as I understand, it records the um, it, it, it records the um, page sort of description of the age that you visit. I think, but I, I can I can I can check that. Okay. Huh. Okay. This is unexpected. All right, so that was that was weird. Okay, I was trying to pick it up and it um destroyed itself. So how do you? Let me try this. So. Oh, I have know shift. Okay, so shift right click to no, right click to drop, shift right click to pick it up. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? I've got, I've got the ink. This is why we're experimenting. <laughs> it's the beauty of live YouTube to a certain, to a certain extent. So let's go back in, linking panel and leather, descriptive book. And I'm actually not gonna re gonna rename it. There's no need to yet. I'll rename it once I figure out what see what it actually is. So bring it down, pick it up, put it down. Okay, linking book in hand, notebook in there, and I'm also grabbing uh, miss, some book stamps from Miscraft. This is because I'm going to leave behind this linking book because I guess I want to come back to this thing. So right click, page three, Cancadia, left click. I have no idea what to expect. This is a totally random world. Pretty much guarantee it's going to have some kind of... Oh, crap. That... How did I not bring... Oh, okay. Um, we're in danger. I didn't bring any torches. Okay, I gotta go back right now. So, I, I'm, in, I'm on bedrock. Put down... Look stand, drop linking book, and head back. Okay, so that looked interesting. So uh, what, I, what I saw in there was definitely a an abandoned mine. So that's promising. However, for some reason, I don't have any torches on me. So I'm, I'm going to grab some. Drop some of this stuff off, because I'm hoping we have some loot in there. Uh... Yeah, nether brick. I'm definitely gonna need that sword. Lumbrax might need a notebook. I guess I'll hang with me. Uh, I only need a moment. I, I, I'll get that later. I actually am running low on food. This, uh, I, I was able to kill some some animals, but not as many as I would like. So I'm just gonna bring one stack of torches and let's head back in there and see what we can find. Now again, this was a totally random world, so I strongly suspect this thing is gonna be unstable. Meaning we're gonna see some weird stuff in there. What in the? Okay, I'm seeing peridot and I'm seeing green. What? What did that turn into stone? 
Okay. Uh, I knew that matter with Anna. Uh, I totally didn't see this when we had light, so I'm okay. Sorry about this, but I better say this. Sorry. I know I have um, keep inventory turned on, but I am honestly not sure where I'm going to spawn if I die in that world. I, I know for a fact I will not spawn back here. I will. I will spawn somewhere else. Um. Okay, I'm, I gotta grab some cobblestone. Um, just one stack should do, but I do not. I don't want to go into the into that water, assuming it's. Uh, hope, hopefully, it's regular water, but it might it might be like poison or something. And the wild is not not telling me. Let me see. Sorry, our first excursion. Okay, so this is here. The torches are here. And that right there is a spider spawner. So. Okay, it's three deep. Hey man, I should probably hear from the spiders. Okay, so where are they and where is that? I hear them. Where are they? There they are. Okay, I see it. It's pretty deep in there. Down. Gotta recover. Okay, that's multiple. Might be another spawn around here. Okay, I hear him, but I don't see him. I suspect they're uh, they're above me. I can't be. Zombie. Yeah, there he is. Hello there. Oh, zombie head. Two has not a skeleton head. I still, I still need a skeleton head uh, from, from my from my altar. Okay, we're at Y35. A little gold there, but I would I would say all in all this is a pretty successful first world. So we found the the abandoned mine page, excellent. So I'm I'm, tr I'm trying to sort of figure out what what else I'm seeing here. But so far all I've seen is the abandoned mine. But I'm guessing I'm in a redwood forest. I, I I know from what I understand about the way that these things that um these things work. Where's my excavator? Sorry, hang on. Um. Oh, there's. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I couldn't lost uh, inventory control there. What in the? Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Whoa. Never seen that before. Uh, an air, a water elemental from air, Mars Magica 2. Fortunately, not, not too hard to kill, but still. Alright, so a fair amount of, of resources around here, but nothing like... Oh. Uh, sapphire. Might as well. I wish I knew what exactly sapphires were useful for, other than making tools. This is as far as I know what I've been using them for. 
this connect? No, it doesn't. Okay. There we go. Got a minecart. And we've got a thalmium axe. Not too bad. And some other stuff I don't want. Sealed. What is... I'm hearing something. I'm not sure what it is, though. I know what is that that that's the sound I don't sound I don't like. It's hard to tell what I'm looking at because I think I think the render isn't isn't quite functioning. But that is that what I okay that looks like a crystal. Okay, I think this is this is Mistcraft crystal. Excellent. Okay, so why so I know this this stuff is used to make some things in Mistcraft, most notably like portals. I think. I think we're very fortunate to hit this on our first world. Baby zombie somewhere. There he is, baby, baby uh, angry zombie. Okay, now I know where the advice comes from where you should bring nano armor to this to the Miscraft Ages. I never played Super Hostile World, but I imagine it's somewhat similar to this. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a stack of this crystal, and we're gonna head back out. Wow, look at that, that is so cool. No wonder it's not rendering correctly. It, we're, we're underneath something. Feels like we're in Middle Earth, and I'm back. Well, um, this is a turn of events. So let's let's, let's head back to our to our world that I have renamed um, A Mine World. One. Uh, well, well, oh, an important little note here. Let me show you A Mine World. Uh, I went I went and I put the the world the descriptive book into the the writing desk. I was able to ch change the name to, to A Mine World. But another thing I, I, I did was, if you notice, I have book waypoint here. I made this before I changed the name. So if you change the name of the book, it will still remain, retain your waypoints. I'm using Zahn's minimap, so it'll, it'll keep your waypoints. Very useful little thing. So what have I learned? I have learned several things, one of which is that my information was outdated. I was looking at the old version of Miscraft, uh, the uh, pre, I think it's pre uh, one point, I think it's version 1.10, but in any case, what I was looking at is the old system whereby you look through uh, new worlds and that's the way that you, you find new information about, about pages. What this version of, my, of Miscraft does is it basically means you have to look for the pages themselves. At the moment, I only have the two pages that are in my ME storage system. So there's that, which means uh, the best way to get uh, to, to get new pages is to find villagers, specifically miscraft villagers, and trade with them. The other way is to is to get lucky and find them in, in dungeon chests. And the third way, I think it's actually going to be the more likely one, is, is to find them in abandoned libraries. Uh, and you most likely find those in Miscraft world, preferably according to, according to the, the wiki, uh, worlds that are very flat, so you have the largest area of visibility. Um, the, 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 and uh, so, so the downside is this particular world, even though it is pretty cool with the abandoned mine, does not have uh, very good visibility. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's solid rock pretty high up. And we're down at iron level at the moment. One more thing I do want to mention, though, I thought just out of the heck of it, trying to figure out what I'm looking at around here, because I was looking around, I thought, oh, this stuff might be poison, so I brought cobblestone, and I'm very, very glad that I didn't touch it. Not that it's poison, but that it's, in fact, liquefied ender. These, This is a freaking lake of liquefied ender. And unless I'm mistaken, let's find out, but I'm pretty sure... I ran back and I made a hardened portable tank. 
I think I can do this. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Okay, so why am I so happy about this? Because according to the NEI, liquefied ender can be put into a, a smeltery and according to this here we go you put a liquefied ender in, into a smeltery you can get out block of solid ender take a block of solid ender into a crafting grid And I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I don't need to do Tinker's Construct totally, but you take a block of solid ender and a crafting grid and you get out ender pearls. So I am literally swimming theoretically in ender pearls. Um, I'm actually very, very afraid to go into this thing because, as far as I understand, the way liquefied ender works is that when you go into it, it teleports you short distances. So there's that. So let's see what we can do here. My hypothesis is correct. This is superior to an ender ender, except it doesn't give you XP. So I'll be right back and let's see if I'm right. Okay, so I have come to the conclusion that this is in fact completely freaking useless. Hey there. You cannot make ender pearls out of liquid ender. That is really freaking irritating. You no, know, I bet there's some way you could do it. I just, I don't see it. Maybe there's a, I think I have florps. No, I do have florps actually. Yeah, so you can put resonant ender inside a florb, but it's useless. Like you can't manufacture ender pearls using this. Well, my plans of world domination have ended. Okay. Well, it still looks cool in any case. So, be right back. Okay, ready for another adventure? Alright, checklist. I've got my descriptive book. Right here, age four. I got my linking book already linked. I've got a book stand. So, let's see where this takes us. Oh, I can see the sky. That'd be a good sign. Okay, first things first. Drop that off. Get some torches. Okay, it looks like we're in a maple woods. The stars look purple. Hey, is that my imagination or? Oh, we're in a fast. Look, look how fast the moon's moving. We're in a quick. We're in a quick time area. I don't remember what the actual, actual name is. Okay, let's head west for a little bit. We can do a little exploration now. There's a creeper coming to see us. Hey, Mr. Creeper. Wow, lag. I got probably train generation lag. Creepers just been blowing up all over here. Okay, well, if I'm right, we, did, we should be nearing the end of the night. But I'm getting a massive amount of lag. Got sheep and bad guys. Wait, is that, is that normal water or no, it's too bright? 
That is, that's liquid essence. Very cool. Okay, I can use that. Okay, where's the, where's the sun? There's a man elemental. Huge amount of lag. Too many bad guys here. And I hear a baby too. Uh... Okay, so, um, this looks very promising. Uh, I'm actually gonna explore a little more and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and as you can tell, I am a bit of a pincushion here. I didn't uh, go very, very far uh, until I came to the one realization. This is an eternal night age. That 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 moon was moving very quickly. The night was running was going was going fast, but it never changed. It was it was night all the time. Doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, but sheesh. Okay. So uh, I, I think we I think I think I've got time to try one more world and hopefully it, it's a bit more of a flat world. Okay, book in hand. Uh, where are my book stands? And let's check it out. I can't see the stars, it's not a good sign. Oh, wow. Okay. Slight problem. Oh, another slight problem. <laughs> oh, this is a double biome world, or a checkerboard world, whatever it's called. Okay, I'm a great wood tree. Okay, so we, we have a problem. Fortunately, I have a solution. The problem is this. Um, rain, and mobs also, but I know that rain can actually damage uh, the, 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 the books. I think it also happens when, 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 um, when they put in books in. I'm not so sure about that, but I'm not taking any chances. So I have to build a quick and dirty structure here. Get the mobs away. No, oh, that's why that's why I go fast. Oh, that's why. The ground was covered. And that guy sees me. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Don't mind me. Linking book is here. All right, so uh, it's some kind of thing over here. Let me show sure. We've got a thick shrubland and ice plains. Give it I mean, those two, and that looks like I'm gonna go out and say liquid iron at this rate. Liquid redstone. Um, I know I was hoping the last time, but is there any way you can? You can take liquid redstone and turn it into something useful. I can spell red. Here we go, liquid redstone. Make it in a smeltery. Conductive redstone.
form. Redstone and iron make conductive red metal. You can mix it with things. But I don't know if you can mix it back. You know what? Just for the heck of it. Oh, I still have the thing of resonant ender. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's be safe. That's what happens when you walk inside of Ender. Let's <laughs> see. I'll take a take a bucket full of this. Oh, I guess I can. This must be too small. Oh well, I need a pump to get it out. No worries. You know, I better. But the last world, it was actually easier to tell where my base was. But I'm gonna make a quick waypoint here. See, okay, so the ages stay the same about the age. We name them that like that. Cool. I'm gonna head west. I'm hoping it gets light. So far I haven't actually seen daylight in any of these, any of these worlds I've been. But I am very happy. All in all, I'm very happy about my resurgence into, into this crap. I was very, very confused that when I started it, didn't know what the heck I was doing it, and most importantly, I was doing it. Or I was doing, I was doing wrong, based on how, was based on previous version of knowledge. It's kind of cool how how the um, I mean the, the squares are, are 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 what they are, what they are. That's how you can tell which is which. You know what? I can use some food. Soundcraft stuff pretty well. Wait, that kind of looks like that's taint. Whoa! Damn hecates. Okay, I don't have any food. I'm just gonna head back. I'm gonna check this out here. Fibrous taint. Yep. This is tainted land. I don't think it actually hurt you that much. What is that? I don't think I want to know actually. But this is a tainted greenwood tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need leather anyway. That looks good. Oh, I think it's starting to get... I think the sun's starting to come out. Hopefully the rain will stop at the same time. This is really cool. I like... I kind of like this area. Where is that? It's a node. Oh, this crap is generated nodes. Very cool. Oh, this is definitely a flat land. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, well, uh, we, we, we managed to make it through a whole night in one of these miscrap ages. This is mm. the third one we went to. And I'm relatively mm. pleased with it. Mm. And this is my sword breaks. Oh well. Like I'll turn this. But um, I'm definitely going to call this an episode. I think I made it a little short, but close enough in any case. So this has been Kenny Kadia for PDB's Horizons. I'm going to keep exploring this Miscraft Agent and see what I can find. In the meantime, all y'all have a magical day. <laughs>